So these are the supplies that I will be talking about in this video. The first is a spray bottle with just plain water. There is nothing in this water. It's really important that you don't put anything in the wig because it won't be coming out and it will lead to residue and matting and frizziness and uh, it will lose any shine that it has so you definitely want to use plain water. Uh, I use a toothbrush for smoothing down flyaways. Um, I use scissors for snipping off the little crinkled ends of hair because it is synthetic and so instead of breaking it will usually crinkle up or shrivel up uh, and get very kind of um, bent looking. In very extreme situations I might brush their hair. I'm going to show you how to brush a doll's hair. Um, I use an American Girl doll brush. The key is that it's not a human brush that you've never used on human hair because it will have oils deposited on the brush and on the bristles of the brush that will then get deposited onto your doll wig. So you definitely want to use a dedicated brush for your wigs. You can get wig brushes at wig stores, uh, but I just use this American Girl doll brush. It's about six bucks, I think, and uh, it has metal you want to make sure that you have a brush that has bristles that are metal and not plastic because plastic will dry out the hair, lead to static and frizziness. So metal brush, metal bristles and they should be far apart like these. So not a fine comb but a brush that has the bristles spread apart like this one. And then a clip that's dedicated or a, a couple of clips that are dedicated um, just to your dolls again so that you don't have human hair residue and oils on it. And I just use this for separating the different parts of the hair if I'm going to brush it, which I do not recommend that you brush usually. So I'm going to show you how to brush hair, but that's only for uh, extreme situations of extreme tangliness. Then another supply that's handy to have in your hair care section is a dryer sheet that has gone through the laundry once with some clothes. What that does is it takes off some of the uh, waxy substance that is on these dryer sheets that if you rub it on your doll hair it, without it going through the dryer first, you'll put too much, you'll deposit some residue from this dryer sheet into your doll hair. And like I already said, you don't want to be putting stuff in your doll wig. Um, so that just makes sure that this uh, has most of the residue removed from it, but it still has this anti-static quality to it so I just rub it for flyaways and I've shown you guys how I've done that before so on to the hair care video hi guys I'm here to talk about hair care so I have an assortment of different dolls with uh, different hairs so I'm going to start by saying that the general principle that I use for taking care of my dolls hair is do not touch so for the most part, I just don't mess around with their hair and they're fine. There are some dolls that you can mess around with their hair and they'll still be fine. So Pull Up Alley is one of those. So she just has such soft, silky, and unfrizzy hair that it's just very, very easy to care for. I have put it in pigtails, I've put it in ponytails, I've braided little parts of it, braided lots of it, braided all of it, and taken it in and out of a lot of different hairstyles, and it still looks, I have never brushed it in its entire life. I've had it for, I've had her for over a year, and she's never been, I've never taken off her wig, so it's still uh, attached like st like it would be as a stock doll. She's a, she's a fully stock doll at this point. Um, it's not frizzy at all. It's beautiful. So if you're looking for a doll that you can play around with different hairstyles without changing wigs, Allie is the one for you because you really can do a lot of things with her and not ruin her hair. So I'm going to put her aside now that I've talked about her. And any dolls that have sprayed hair, so here I have a uh, pull-up Catwoman, who is Neela for me. She has a spray on her hair. It's very obvious when you touch it. It feels a little crunchy, and it stays put. It doesn't move very much. Taiyang Ni Ya, who I call Dominic, is another one like this. I'm just going to grab him, because this hair is so short it's a little bit hard to tell. 
but Ni Ya has straight has uh, long hair, but you'll see if I move it, him around, his hair for the most part doesn't move. And so again, don't mess with it. So I just leave it. It's never been brushed. I don't think that the first owner of him has ever brushed it because he came to me like this with his hair kind of automatically sitting the way that it's supposed to sit. And so I don't mess with it. Catwoman is another one with that kind of hair. I did cut the bottom. She had hair that kind of stuck out here. I cut the bottom off so that she just has a bob and I haven't messed with it since then. And it stays in place and looks great and so you really don't have to do anything. Uh, most short wigs like Nikki's wig. This is a Leak World wig and it's also a short bob and it's not sprayed but it's just short and it only goes in one style and you never have to do anything besides just maybe flatten a piece every... Don't mess with the short hair because it looks good just as it is. So I have uh, two, three other dolls that demonstrate different kinds of hair. So uh, Giselle here has a wig that is not um, the highest quality but also not the worst quality. It's a decent wig. Um, it does have a little bit of frizziness to it. It has this giant curl at the bottom so it tends to all kind of fall very straight here and then it has a big curl at the bottom like that. And it is a little bit frizzy. It's not too frizzy but generally speaking with this kind of a wig it's good to not brush it too much so what I like to do is I just take a toothbrush I'm gonna move these two over so I don't accidentally brush them I take a toothbrush and you, you usually start at the bottom and work your way up so I'm gonna smooth the curl like this I don't have all of it so I wanna just kind of grab all of it in the curl and I'm gonna smooth it out like that and then I'm going to go a little bit further up and smooth it as I go. And now a little bit further up still and keep on smoothing it with my toothbrush. And it stays, I mean the underneath part doesn't get smooth because I haven't smoothed it, but you're not going to see it anyways. It's a little bit hard to do it horizontal here for my video, but you just need to be very, very careful that you're kind of pulling it softly. And so if I wanted her styled so that she had a piece of her hair up in the front like this, I would, st I would smooth that separate from the other one with my toothbrush. and just smooth it right down like that and follow it all the way down to the very end of its curl so I have a little bit of her other hair in here just like that and now she's looking very nice and her hair is a lot smoother. And then once I, you know, if I had both hands to use, I could see how there's kind of pieces that are coming out right here. What I wanna do is just kind of hold her still and just smooth out those pieces without messing too much with the rest of it. And then smooth it down. You gotta follow, once. so once you start brushing, you have to follow that section all the way to the end, like that. There, and then treat it kind of as a big clump of hair. So I've got it so that I'm sectioned. It's sectioned into two big clumps, two big curls that are pretty smooth. So that's how you smooth and the most that you should do with this kind of a wig. There we go. 
You might have a little bit of fallout like I just had, but you shouldn't have too, too much if it's a good quality wig. The lower the quality of the wig, the more fallout you might have when you're doing this kind of a thing. So that's Giselle. Now, this kind of a wig is a little bit trickier because it has these little curls. It has a lot of these curls. So this is Suri, who is my bloody red hood, and she has this beautiful, soft, soft we Leak World wig, and the curls are just absolutely gorgeous, and I try to not mess with it too much. It's not quite ready to brush. I usually wait until it's a little bit worse than this to brush, but you'll see that there's all these hairs here. They don't look too bad. They don't really come out on a photo. Um, this section here is a little bit worse for wear, so this curl here. So that's what I'm going to focus on right now. These ones are looking pretty okay. They could be fixed, but I'm not going to bother fixing them right now. They've been worse too, so I, I, if I weren't doing this video, I would probably leave this section for a while longer before I fixed it up. And uh, this one is looking pretty okay, so I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to work on this section here which looks like one big curl or maybe two or three curls depending on how I sort it out. So I'm just going to gently pull. I've got one there and then one there. And see how these little pieces there become the frizz, the pieces in between the curls. And then there's one here, and then this could be a big one. So I'm going to put this curl up there, and if I had clips with me that would be awesome. That's probably the supply that I forgot to bring. So let's start with this one, put these two over here and we'll start with this one. So you see that it just kind of like keeps its hold even when I pull it. Now what I want to do with this is brush the shaft. Let me come in a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to brush the straight part with my toothbrush to smooth it out and I'm going to, again, follow it all the way to the end. And then keep on following it all the way to the end. Keep on following it. And then I'm at the end. And then when I let go of it, it bounces up into a nice soft curl and you've lost the majority of those little flyaways that were in between. So now this one is done. Next I'm going to take this one which is right beside it and I think I might... no I guess I'll keep those separate. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to smooth out this section and then follow it all the way to the very end. And I'm just wrapping it around my thumb as I go. All the way to the very, very end. And then there we go. So now that one is done. Now this one has quite a few frizzy flyaways on it and it really impacts how she looks because all these frizzies are right here by her shoulder and the way that I separate her hair you see the underneath part of it here. So I'm going to take my time and really get this smooth so that it looks good. These are the two that are done. This one isn't done and these two aren't done. And you do have to be careful that you're kind of separating your hair appropriately so that you don't pull more frizz out of one of the other <laughs> curls. So see how I've got a bit of a tangle right there? Got a bit of a tangle right there. So 
I'm going to go back and try to smooth that out the best that I can. You're basically trying to pull it down the shaft of the hair towards the end. looking better already. There is still a little tangled part right here. This little tangled part right here. I'm just going to separate it out from the rest of the curl to try to untangle it and then I'll put it back in when I'm done. And then to put it in you just twirl it and it'll find its own way back in, just like that. There we go. I'm going to keep working with this one to make it even better. There we go. That's looking great now. Perfect. Now this one really doesn't need too much. I think I'm going to actually just leave it. And now this is the big one. And it's looking pretty good too. It's a little messy through the barrel part of it, the curly part. So let's see what we can do about that. There we go. So you see how it's mostly looking good, it's really just at the end here that it's looking a little bit frizzy. So I'm just focusing on smoothing out the end part. All right. So let me zoom out again and you'll see that her hair is now a lot smoother on that side because I took the time to do that work. This side is still a little frizzy because I didn't do it. It's not that frizzy though. I'm not too concerned about it. But that's how it looks when it's freshly smoothed. Very pretty. So that is Suri and her curly wig move her over and now you'll see that this is a really badly frizzy wig that needs a lot of work.